Hello and welcome everyone. This is your guide, Ryan Phoenix, and you climb back aboard the bus for more Creeptober and the Let's Tour of Maniac Mansion. Uh, well, I guess it's not quite October anymore there, so is it really Creeptober now? Uh, well, it's November. Is it Creeptember? Yeah. Yeah, we'll go with that. <laughs> welcome to the Creeptember Let's Tour of Maniac Mansion. And when we start off here, let's go ahead and give the contract to Wendy there, just so uh, we have our main thing straight here. <laughs> uh, last time we got quite a bit done there, got quite a bit set up for the finale here. That's right, this is the finale for at least the Bernard and Wendy <laughs> portions of the game here. So uh, we got a lot of things uh, gathered up there. We got the contract last time, we fixed the wiring in order to uh, fix the Meteor Mess arcade game, which will come into play here momentarily. But first, we're going to go ahead and get Bernard downstairs, because there's a certain room that we need to get to down here, and the quickest way to get here is, you know, just get grabbed by one of the one of the ghoulies here. Grabbed by the ghoulies. <laughs> uh, but yes, uh, last time we also used the radio in order to get in contact with the Meteor Police. That's right. <laughs> Uh, sounds all official and important, doesn't it, there? But yes, they asked us to make sure the door to the lab was open, and, well, down here in the basement we have this big old locked-up door that says Secret Lab? Well, that could be what we're wanting there, and <laughs> yes, it is there. This is where we're wanting to go. And it has two padlocks on this door here, uh, bottom and top. And they're opened with the glowing key. This is the key that we got down in the, uh in the bottom of the pool, actually. They're glowing from all the radiation down there. But that we opened that door, and the outer door... There was an inner door behind it. Huh. Alright, well, let's go ahead and try giving this... getting this one to open. Let's see what happens. Okay, we got ourselves another number keypad here, so... Uh, this is where the Meteor Mess game comes into, into play, so... Uh, if you remember correctly, the high score that was achieved after Dr. Fred played it was 8, 6, 4, and 0. Alright, with all those numbers put into place there, the door opens. Huzzah! <laughs> so that is why we wanted to fix the wiring and wait for that cutscene to happen where Dr. Fred played the Meteor Mess game for himself. So, yeah, alright. Now we've got Bernard down there in the basement. Let's go ahead and uh, get Wendy down there too. So first we're going to have to switch to... Bill Dave, and he's got to push the gargoyle here. I <laughs> uh, could just have Wendy get caught by somebody, but uh, well, they, she'd have to go all the way upstairs for that. So, you know, we'll just go ahead and go with things this way. Uh, go through the basement herself, because she does actually have the... Oh, well. Can I get the light switch here, please? No? Alright, fine. I'll just walk along here, but we got the sirens going there, which means that the police are on their way. And they just pop into the basement there. <laughs> all right, let's go get them. All right, all business here. Let's go. Let's go get them. Let's. Oh, I saw something on the floor there. Don't bug me, sucker face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the insults in this game. They are definitely one of a kind. Stand aside. No time for you, small fry. Time to take on the meteor, mono e mono or mono e Rocco. So it's you, slimy purple meteor. Oh no, you found me! You're coming with me, Craterhead. <laughs> Alright, and with that, they are transported out of there, all Star Trek style, and yeah, well, yeah, that's it. There, they grabbed the meteor. Game over, right? Well, you know, the credits didn't roll or anything there, so yep, we are not done yet there. We still have to deal with good old Dr. Fred there, who still has our uh, friend Dave's girlfriend, Sandy, hooked up to his evil machine. But before we go any further there, I want to give the card key to Bernard. Alright, now that he has that in hand, we'll go ahead and switch over to Bernard. And let's check out what's on the ground here. Oh, a badge. Alright, well, let's go ahead and grab it. Uh, if we go ahead and give that a quick look over, the badge says, it belongs to Meteor Police, bad number 714. Okay, alright, well, guess what, Bernard? You've just been deputized. That's right. <laughs> now, with your with your <laughs> newfound police 
strength in hand there, you are able to storm into the meteor there, but we got the purple tentacle standing in our way here. I can't even really click on him or show you there, but yep, he's there. <laughs> and this is where the uh, different abilities of the kids come into play, because each one, well, almost each one, but we'll get to that later, <laughs> has a unique uh, way of getting past the purple tentacle. Uh, whether it be through some outside measure of getting... Well, everybody needs some sort of item or person to aid them in getting through here. And for Bernard, it is the badge here, so let's go ahead and get that. Ah, well, I uh, need to walk up here to trigger him there. What are you doing? Uh -huh. I caught you sneaking around the house. Well, let's go ahead and show the badge to him and see what he has to say about that. You're with the meteor police? Dr. Fred made me do it. He forced me to go along with his evil plan. How dastardly. How evil of him. It's all his fault. Not mine. No. I'm innocent. I'm innocent, I tell you. He's right in there. Through the door. Right there. Get him. Arrest him. Do whatever you want to him. Put a stop to his dastardly deeds. He's mad, I tell you. Mad. I'll help you. I'm your friend. You can trust me. We're pals, right? Ah, uh, and he runs off. <laughs> so, yep, we scared him off with the power of the police badge there. <laughs> so, yep. Alright, now that the purple tentacle is out of the way, we can open this door and move onward. Before you go through the store, I just say uh, you definitely want to make sure you have the card key with whoever goes in here. So, well, that is it. Let's go. Alright, I don't want to go. Got us those Pepsi machine, that's cool. And the zombie matic. Purple tentacle. Purple tentacle. Invaders. Purple tentacle? So, you've gotten past all my safeguards. There's only one thing left to do. What's that? What mad diabolical thing do you have in mind? I'm arming the self-destruct mechanism. What? You're gonna blow yourself up? Only I know the secret code to stop it. There. The house will blow up in two minutes. <laughs> you madman. Alright, time remaining. Two minutes. Until meltdown. Alright, well, let's go ahead and see if we can put a stop to this in some way there. Like, uh, well, we can't do anything about these buttons. You can press them all you want there. You can't uh, figure that out there. But, alright, uh, well, let's go ahead and go in here. This is the meteor's room. And, oh, huh, there's a switch here. Will that shut down the self-destruct sequence? Let's turn off the switch. And if we do that... Oh? What happened? I feel much better now. I'm free of the machine's control. Oh, so Dr. Preb was controlled this entire time? But wait! There's more! <laughs> the self-destruct sequence was initiated? Who would do such a thing? I'll try to turn it off. I did it! Huzzah! <laughs> well done, Dr. Fred. Well done. Nice job. <laughs> and with that, ladies and gentlemen, we did indeed fish game. I'm sorry. My insane plan caused you so much trouble. How can I ever repay you for your help? Cash would be nice, you know? Yeah, a little, little bit there. Don't be a tune ahead. <laughs> Ah, uh, and the fourth wall breaking, staring to the camera at the end. Congratulations! You won the game! A Lucasfilm Games production, in fact. <laughs> so yes, we have the credits rolling here with the awesome music behind you. And yes, we've done it. We beat the game. We're awesome. Yeah, go us. <laughs> but yes, this is just one of the ways that you can end the game with Bernard and Wendy in your team. The uh, main one focused on Bernard in particular. But what about Wendy there? Like, you know, we don't want her to be left out of the equation here. So, we're actually going to go ahead and rewind time here a little bit. And we're going to go back and let Wendy get the floor here. <laughs> Let's see what Wendy can do in order to put a stop to the murderous purple meteor. So, after the end of this low credit sequence there, I'll see you back with Wendy. See you in a second, guys.
All right, we are back, and we are back with Wendy, <laughs> and she is now prepared to take on the murderous Purple Tentacle. How will she do it? Well, let's go ahead and go in and find out. <laughs> let's go. Now, Bernard needed the badge from the Meteor Police in order to get past the Purple Tentacle here, but uh, Wendy, Wendy, she's got her own ways there. You know, she's got her own million dollar ways. Let's go ahead and give this Purple Tentacle a look at the million dollar contract that she happens to have here. A publishing contract? For the Meteor? They'll be happy to see that. Sorry I bothered you. Move along, move along. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Um, apparently all it takes is millions of dollars there to get <laughs> past the purple tentacle in order to see the <laughs> the meteor. So yes, uh, again, make sure that you have, well, now we have the contract there, you also, again, want to make sure you have the card key before entering. Uh, I did show off last time there, but let's go ahead and, now we stepped inside here. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I don't want to do anything here. I want to leave. Let's open the door. It's sealed shut. What? What? Well, uh, Bernard, help me. Uh, you you can't you can't switch to a new kid. Nope, nope. You're on your own at this point. There. Once you go through that door, you're stuck. Okay. Now we want to go ahead. Like last time, we want to use the card key in the card slot. But because the purple tentacle is there, we don't want to just charge right in here because uh, the purple tentacle. Or not. <laughs> Did I say purple tentacle before? There, the meteor, the murderous purple meteor is uh, has some radioactive power there so we want to get this radiation suit and put it on there so yeah once you grab it you automatically put it on there so now we are ready to go into the room here <laughs> and you'll see now the meteor is actually here and yet when it does that if you do not have this suit on you will you will die <laughs> so yeah all right let's go ahead and give the contract to the meteor and see what see what the meteor has to say wow lucrative con publishing contract I'm going to be famous I don't have to be evil anymore Dr. Fred release the prisoners we're going to be rich rich I tell you <laughs> And now what happens? Well, the meteor gets on his own little talk show here. <laughs> Welcome back from our break. We have been talking with the celebrity rock who gave up... Dot, dot, dot. A life of crime for a career as a writer. So, Mr. Meteor, how does it feel to be famous rather than in famous. Well, Wink, it feels great. But I couldn't have done it alone. Not without my friend Wendy. Hi, Wendy. <laughs> so yeah, got Wendy up on the sidelines cheering the meteor on there as his little is it a ghost writer, ghost editor? I don't know. <laughs> as his pub well not his publicist there, but yeah, his editor. <laughs> so yeah, that is the Wendy specific ending. But since we have Wendy and Bernard together there, we can actually do a special joint ending between the two of them. So, that's what we're going to do. Alright, we're going to go ahead and take a quick break, and we will be right back with that special ending there. Alright, see you in a second, guys. Oh, wow, I got to trim that down a lot more than I thought I was going to. <laughs> uh, before we get to the ending, I want to go ahead and show this little scene off here. Uh, we're back here with uh, the point where the meteor police show up. And yeah, I got all the kids down in the basement here for meteor police's arrival. All right, let's go get them. Now, if you remember the call there, he said to make sure that these doors were open. But now he says, how am I supposed to get in there? I don't know, can you just teleport in there like you teleported in here? Oh well, maybe next time. <laughs> so yes, if you call him and the door isn't open and ready to go there, then that is what will happen. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, okay, now that he's out of the way there, we're gonna go ahead and open up the door with our handy dandy code, and I'll just go ahead and skip all this to the point where we give the contract to the Meteor, because now that we have 
Uh, last time I went back to a point where we hadn't called the meteor police yet, but now that we've called the meteor, meteor police and they are on the lookout for the meteor, we're going to get a slightly different, slightly different version of the uh, last scene that you saw there. So, all right, well, I'll go ahead and get the contract to the meteor, and I'll be back with you with the ending. See you in a second. All right, we're back here, and you know, yeah, it looks like the same old ending there. Back from our break, as it were. <laughs> But this time, since the Meteor Police have been alerted to the location of the Purple Meteor, they are going to be on the lookout for him, so, you know, uh, what could that, could that mean for this little talk show that we got going on here? Oh, that's a wait and see there. So, you know, Mr. Meteor, how does it feel to be famous rather than infamous? Well, I'll tell you, it feels great. Thanks, Wendy. You're awesome. You're the best. Couldn't do it without you. Alright, and happy ending? <gasps> what was that? <laughs> the, the meteor police have found him. I don't care if you've reformed. You're still coming with me. And yep, they arrest him right there on the show and <laughs> take him off. <laughs> so yes, that is... Yet another way that you can end it there, and that's specifically a way that you can end it with only having Bernard and Wendy at the same time. So that's why I chose those two characters for this path in particular. So, yeah, that's gotta be it, right? What else could we possibly do? Well, you notice how Wendy was standing off to the side there during that ending sequence? What if Wendy weren't around anymore? What would happen then? Well, that's what we're going to show you here just momentarily. Just a second there. So, yep. <laughs> I will be back with yet another ending. Or another, you know, variation to the ending. So, I'll see you there in a second, guys. I'll be right back. Alright, we are back here on the talk show there. But, sadly, is my... Uh, my job to inform you that Wendy is no longer with us. Through a freak accidents there when he has passed on uh, those freak accidents will be a topic for another time there another video perhaps <laughs> but yes uh, Wendy is dead so <laughs> so since she's no longer around there what exactly is gonna happen here with the ending there who's gonna be standing out to the screen well it's Sandy of course <laughs> you know the kidnapped girlfriend who contributed nothing other than being kidnapped oh. And there's the Meteor Police. <laughs> so yes, you can get once again get the uh, variation with Bernard, the combo there. I wanted to go ahead and show it with the Meteor Police there, just get that out of the way. So yeah, I'm not going to go back through the trouble of showing you the version without the Meteor Police intervening there. So, so yeah, that is technically all the endings that you can get with these two pairings. Well... Not all the endings that you can get with these two pairings, but like all the exclusive endings that you can get with those two pairings, minus going back and just doing the Sandy, the Sandy ending again without the Meteor Police there. It's the same thing there. <laughs> just, you know, that slight variation at the end. So, yeah, that's all the endings there. That's the finale for the Bernard slash Wendy run of Maniac Mansion. So I hope that you guys enjoyed that there. <laughs> and next time we will... Uh, come back to the mansion with two new kids there and with those two I'm gonna show you uh, another few sub ways that you can get to the ending and another couple ways that you can deal with the meteor I mean you know we saw him get arrested we saw him make millions of dollars there because you know who doesn't want the villain to walk away with millions of dollars am I right yeah <laughs> but you know that might not be satisfying enough there well we just want to get rid of that meteor well, you're going to have to wait until next time to find out there, so it's not going to be a full playthrough of the game there. I'm just going to show you the little differences between the characters and skip ahead quite a bit there. Like, so for the full effect, you can come back to these videos, but the next set of videos is going to be the, the abridged versions. <laughs> so we can move along there, and I'm also going to show you a few little tricks there to help speed things along that I didn't show you this time because I wanted you to get the full experience there and know how to do things the proper way. Next time, we'll do the cheaters route. <laughs> so I hope that you guys tune in for that. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. 
If you did, give me a like or comment below. I appreciate it as always. And go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. I appreciate that as well. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, stay gold, YouTube.